morning. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Here's what happened. Yesterday, I posted my iPad for sale to this local group and made a technical error. Forgot to add a word to the posting. It was supposed to say $50 off. What they saw was $50. on my iPad. Well, that didn't happen. I waited around all day for a sale to happen. The guy finally shows up and he hands me $50 and I'm like, what the fuck is this? He didn't see the correction. So, not so much with that idea. So, consequently, that money that I was going to use to get out of here with can't use because I don't have it. I have to wait and go in. I have to wait another three or four days and then I can leave. Fortunately, as you can tell, it's not too windy. However, something bad happened yesterday, which makes things a little bit more challenging. I will try to fix it, but I'll show you what happened. piece right there is supposed to go into, or that cable right there is supposed to go in there. It ripped this out. So that means I can now no longer charge off the solar. I spent the better portion of the last hour trying to get that thing apart. <sighs> On the plus side, there's a plus. You'll notice that it's not windy out. There's no wind. Clear blue skies, baby. So I'm going to shoot the last remaining four videos today. I'm going to head out in just a moment and shoot what I can. Get that all taken care of. And then uh, try to be on my merry way. Somehow, some way. Either get out of here tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. But at least get those videos done. Not like anybody's going to watch the damn things. I know that nobody's going to watch the damn things. Gotta protect my knees. Well, kitties, all done, all shot, all four. A little dicey on the on the on, on now that I've seen it actually played out. I'm not all that thrilled with it, but that's section one. That's the end of section one. Section two, well, you'll see that when you see it. It's gonna sit there for a little while, but I'm gonna put those put that stuff out. Sorry for the wind noise, but the wind is coming right at me. Speaking of the wind, this morning when I shot this, when I shot the, the, the earlier part of the segment, it wasn't windy. And then the wind picked up in the middle of the day and I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to do this. And right as, as the, you know, the sun started to set, the wind died down. So I got done what I needed to get done. Shot very quickly and efficiently. I think I had like four mistakes and that was it done so 
I am all done with this section. Time to move on to the next section. Amelia Stories, Part 1, Section 7, Amelia Meets Phil. Phil walked into the club, took his duffel from his shoulder, looked up, and that's when he saw Amelia standing at the bar in front of him. Amelia had a drink in one hand, a cigarette in the other, and was talking with her hands, pointing at her girlfriends, and laughing. Phil stared for a really long time before realizing that he was gawking at her. She didn't notice him. He quickly found a table, a waitress, a drink, some food, and all he could do was stare. So, Phil ate, slowly, looking over at her. The food he didn't remember. However, as he would later tell me, the woman, he did. He couldn't think of anything else. He drank slowly just so that he could watch Amelia. Kind of creepy by today's standards, but as my grandfather would later tell me, when you knew, you knew. And in this case, he knew. Amelia Stories, Part 1, Section 8, Amelia Meets Phil. Amelia, sensing she was being watched as anyone would when they feel someone's eyes on them, turned to find who was watching her. She found him and met Phil's eyes. She knew what he wanted, or so she thought. She'd seen that look before. It was awe. Kind of sort of like a puppy. She wasn't buying it, though. She needed to nip this thing in the butt, as she would later tell me. She walked over to him and said, and I quote, What are you staring at? And without missing a beat, my grandfather, Philip Harris, said to her, My wife. Amelia laughed out loud at the audacity of the statement, to which she responded with, Good luck, sailor. She turned on her heel and went back to her friends, not paying him any mind. He was clearly crazy or had had too much to drink or both. That is where I will leave you kiddies today. Thanks a bunch for watching. I appreciate your time, your patience, and your patronage. If you like this stuff, smash that like button down below. It really does help out the channel. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> And I look forward to seeing you, Kitty, somewhere along. Oh, look at that. Somewhere along that road. Bye.